to what's going on? P dropping in one time. You know, I got to start the week with some fire. It's going to be surgical, so lock in. It's going to be surgical. We're talking Jay Z. Jay Z next. Yeah, they say Jay Z next. You know, after Art Kelly, Diddy, they say Jay Z next. You know, they say guilty by association. And I hate talking like this. I'm already talking like how everybody else talk. They. Who the fuck is they? Who the fuck is they? Let's let's put context with everything. Like I said, it's gonna be surgical. Lock in. I won't miss a beat on this video. Lock in. Lock in. Who the fuck is they? Let's let's clarify that. Who who is they? Well, they. I'm gonna just say black people. Yeah, his own kind. Yes, they they've been pushing this narrative. They they started this narrative, and I'm not the one to gatekeep anything, you know, and say hip hop is. It's strictly for black people or this or that. But black people starts these narratives with their own artists, their own musicians. Only people, only, you know, race that does this. You know, Hispanics, you know, white people. Nobody else does this, you know, with their musicians, you know, and their artists, you know, wish, wish down on them, wish for their downfall, you know. Black people start this. And what happens is these other, you know, cultures see how we treat our musicians, how we talk about them, and how we prey on their downfall. And they feel comfortable jumping in on it. Yes, they feel very comfortable. So before you know it, you'll have black people talking bad about, you know, you know, black musicians, black artists, you'll have Hispanics, you'll have whites. Before you know it, they're all ganging up on one, you know, black artist or musician, whatever the case may be. Because typically a black person started a narrative or whatever the case may be. And what we must realize is black people look at Jay-Z as a sellout. Yes. When I made the video about Jay-Z, you know, ultimately picking Kendrick Lamar to perform in the Super Bowl, I talked about the origin and the root of why black people really don't like Jay-Z. They view him, there's a few reasons, there could be a thousand reasons, but I'm going to give you the, what can I say, the, I'm going to break it down to the, the core, the core reasons why black people don't like Jay-Z. Okay, he moves strictly on business. And this is, this is what black people can never do if their life depended on it. Black people as a whole. You know, I'm not talking about all, all. I'm just talking about majority. You know, as a whole. Because you have your you have your, you know, individuals that that's that's on a different time that, that move strictly on business. But I'm talking about black people as a whole when you when you when you group us up. When you group us up. Black people can't move on business. I gave this example. I say, say you have a business, because black people look at Jay-Z as a sellout. Okay, say you have a business. I'm gonna make this example really quick. Say you have a business. You go to school, you work hard to start your own business. You may have a brother or a cousin or somebody that need a job, but you have a position that you need filled and someone has to be qualified to run, run that position to, in order to keep your business going, get your business off the ground. So maybe you may have to hire, you know, someone out of your race, let's just say that. But as a black person, if you don't hire your brother or your cousin who's not even qualified, you know, not even qualified, but just because they need a job, they're not qualified, they wouldn't even bring value to your business to, you know, help your business continue to run. They just need a job, you know, and you can provide a job for them, even though they're not qualified. But this is how black people view a situation, view that situation in particular. You don't hire your brother or your cousin, they look at you as a sellout. Yes, they be like, you a sellout. You ain't hiring your brother, your cousin, your blood, this and that. Even though they may cause your business to fail because it's not running as it should be, you know, because they're not equipped, they're not qualified, they gonna look at you as a sellout because you were supposed to fail. You were supposed to hire your brother or cousin to fail so y'all can look at each other and say, what we gonna do now, bro? What now, cuz? Yeah, you supposed to fail as a black as a black person. Yes, you supposed to fail. Not one of you, you know, get to the top or push along. No, we all have to fail. 
Not one of us make it. And then, you know, oh, maybe we get our, you know, foot in the door, and, you know, see how things work, get the business going. Then we can maybe hire our family members, you know, cousins and shit like that. People that need a job, but you don't hire them right away. Black people look at you as a fucking sellout. And that's what's fucked up with the mindset of how black people operate. Because they move strictly on feelings. How can you run a business moving strictly on feelings? And that's how Jay-Z operates. He's not going to hire you just because, oh, you black, you you probably to be my brother. It's like, no, I'm going to get the best person for the job. Yes, so they look at him as a setup. That's one reason why they hate Jay-Z. Another reason why they hate Jay-Z, because he looks, even in the social media era where you can pick up a phone or tablet and see your favorite celebrity, he still looks unaccessible. Yes. He looks unaccessible. You know why? Because you don't see Jay-Z just everywhere. You don't see him just everywhere. You don't. You don't see him everywhere. So black people, they don't like that because he moves in silence. And that's what black people wish they could do. And that's what black people always run their mouth about. Talking about, oh, make a move, this and that. But they can never move in silence. And he's the definition of how you move in silence. He's not on film at his cousin's or not saying that's a bad thing or, you know, but he's not at his cousin cook out with him on film and be like, oh, look, Jay pulled up a hole, pulled up. That's what black people are used to. You being accessible. You feeling like regular like them. Oh, look, cuz pulled up. Look, got him on film and shit like that. The cook out, shit like that. You know, even if Jay-Z is at his family cook you don't be seeing people video recording and shit like that. Any other art and shit like that, you can find videos like that. So Jay-Z moves in a way where he just seems so damn unaccessible. People hate it. They hate what they don't understand. They hate what they can't get close to. Oh, and he also has Beyonce. Yes. <laughs> Women and men don't like the fact that he has Beyonce. And I'm going to tell you why. The fact that he's been married for so long. It's not as easy to dig up dirt on him. Not saying there may not be any dirt out there, period, because Beyonce has already said that in her album that, you know, he was doing, you know, his little dirt on the side, whatever. No relationship is perfect. We know that. They're still together. They're still married, though. They're, they, they work through it. They work through it. But he has Beyonce. You know why that pisses everybody off? You know why? You was already the, the king on the hip-hop shit, you know, bringing in the most money. Y'all may not say he's the best rapper. Who cares? I'm talking overall. I'm talking overall. Rapping, selling records, money, all that. Jay-Z's at the top when it comes to metal. When that hip-hop, that, that, that music space. Who's at the top when it comes to the women? Beyonce. <laughs> Who's at the top when it comes to women? We talk about money, record sales, all that. Who's at the top? Beyonce. So you have the best female R&B, the best female that's in R&B, and the best guy that's in hip hop. They they get together. If Beyonce was with anyone else, women could talk they shit. Oh, he ain't shit. He this. He that. He this. He he don't do this. He that. Beyonce can upgrade. She can do this. They can't say that shit. Motherfucker, a billionaire without Beyonce. They can't say that. So that's not. This is some real deep shit that people really hate on. That that you really got to understand how people operate. Because people love to say, "Oh, she can upgrade on him. He cheated this and that, that and that." Nobody should upgrade with from the outside looking in. <laughs> you know. And if she was with any other male. She would be the bigger, she would be the main character. <laughs> if she was with any other man, she would be the main character. They don't like that. They don't like Jay-Z's always the main character, even when he's not trying to be. And when you ask people, you know there's some things that could be an internet narrative and you have some things that's, that's real. So I thought this Jay-Z shit 
with Diddy, I thought it was just a, you know an internet narrative that people people trying to you know joke with shit like that. I had people outside, you know, outside that was saying the same shit. Oh, J next, J next, but they didn't have no real details, and they really couldn't break it down to why. All they were saying is, oh. He would did it, this and that. He would did it, this and that. I got friends. I got friends that are motherfucking killers. That will take your life. I never took nobody life. So if I hang out with them, do that make me a killer too? I'm my own man. I'm my own man, but. If I hang out with them or you see me with them in different instances, does that make me a killer too? Because a, a motherfucker that know the real be like, man, motherfucker just hanging out with them. You know, he ain't no killer. But if you hate on somebody, you don't like anything about their dishes, you will drag them into that shit. You'll say, why not? Why not drag them into that shit? I don't like them anyway. Yeah, he guilty. He wet them too. A motherfucker that Look, look, shit, look through shit the way they supposed to and evaluate the situation the way they supposed to be like, he don't even move like that. He don't even operate like that. Where y'all getting this from? Where we, how we coming up with this? Motherfucker ain't, I ain't never know him to, but when you don't, when you don't like somebody and you, and the illusion is more exciting than the actual action of it playing out, it fuck your head up. What they say, the lie and the rumor is always more exciting than the truth. The illusion of, of Jay being caught up in that is way more exciting. Billionaire, oh, drag him down, take everything. He worked so hard, take everything. The excitement you get from that can make you wish that on that man. And that's what's going on, you know. With, I'll just say black people because we started this, we the root of this. That's what's going on. It is really sad. It is really sad. It is. It is. It's really sad that they, they want to see this man fall. They want to at this point. And it's his own kind. And never blame Jay-Z for how he moved because he been knew how we think, how we operate. He knew this decades ago as to why he was moving how he was moving and why he continues to move how he moves. It's sad. It's sad that we really want our own to fall just because we don't understand and you know we're not we're not them. Simple as that. <laughs> and you could never see yourself in such a position of successful, you know, being successful or having power, things like that. So you hate the people that do have power. Simple as that. Simple as that. And they say, where J C at? Where where he been hanging out? Where he where he been at Jay Z high? Last I checked, he just opened another fanatics location. But like I say, if he's not at a cookout where he could be filmed or this or that, he's not considered outside. He's hiding. When he's making business moves, you know, a clip here and there, a clip here and there, he's hiding because he's not on the street, he's not at a cookout, he's not at a game, he's making a business move. But to black people, he's hiding. Where Jay Z at? He's making another move. But that's just how low black people think. Because if you don't flash money, you're broke. That's just how we think. You gotta flash your money. You gotta hold the the money to your to your ear. What Jay Z say? That's this. That's a disconnect. We don't call that money over here. Black people hate that now because everybody in the hood money to the ear, shit like that. This and that. He shit on. Every time he's showing you a different way. He didn't he didn't pass that type of lifestyle, so they don't like it. You know. They don't like it. When he hit Future with that, they didn't like that because Future represents the hood. 
And Jay Z's past that hood mentality. So there you go. It's very sad how we think. Like I said, if you're not flashing the money, you're broke. If you don't have 10 women around you, this or that, you know, with you, you may not like women. <laughs> you know? It's just how it's just how low and how we don't even take the time to really, you know, think things through. We just we'll pin something on you if it doesn't make sense to us. That's what we do. And it's very sad. That's what we do, and it's very sad. You know, you gotta throw it in black people's face to show them you got it. That's the only way we believe it. That's the only way it's true to us. And it's very sad. Maybe one day we get past this type of thinking and this illusion, but no time soon. Maybe not in this lifetime. But comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. You know, definitely want to touch on this because according to black people, Jay-Z is next. Not because he is next, for sure, but because they want him next. Very sad spectacle going down. But let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe. That's what you can help us share the video. If you're entertaining, hit that cash at this what I do. Definitely want to rock on this. We out.